Hello, today we're going to have a look at integration with limits. I suggest you watch the first video, integration being the opposite of differentiation, and this is taking it a little bit further. So as well as doing the opposite of differentiation, I can use integration for another thing, which is to find the area under a piece of graph. So here I've got a piece of graph, and I want to find the area between the graph and the x-axis. But I don't want to find the whole area going forever either way. I want to find it between two particular numbers. I'm going to say, in this case, I want to find it between 2 and 5. And the 2 and the 5 are my limits. And how I use limits is once I've integrated, I substitute in the 5, and that finds me the area under the graph up to the 5. So all of this, and then I take away the area up to the 2. So I substitute 2 into the integral and take this away, and that leaves me with just the bit of graph that I want. So for example, if I wanted to integrate 2x squared plus 7 dx between 3 and 1, I do the same as we did with the reverse differentiation. I add 1 to my power, so I say x squared add 1 to my power, I get x cubed, and I divide by my power, so I get 2 divided by 3, so I get 2 thirds x cubed. Again, the 7 is really 7x to the power 0, I add 1 to that power, I get x to the power 1, or just x, and then I divide by my new power. So 7 divided by 1 is just 7. Now, when we were doing the reverse differentiation, I must put plus c, because there could have been a constant that before I differentiated was there, but when I differentiated it disappeared and I couldn't get it back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the values 3 and 1. So the second stage of integration with limits is writing it in an integrated form with square brackets, and we write our limits Instead of on the left-hand side with the integral sign, we're going to write them on the right-hand side by our brackets. Then I just substitute in my limits, so I get 2 thirds x cubed. Well, in this case, x is going to be 3, so we're going to say 3 cubed. Plus 7 times 3, plus c. And then I'm going to take away what I get when I substitute the 1 in. So I get 2 thirds times 1 cubed plus 7 times 1 plus c. Now what you'll find is I'm adding c in this bracket and then the minus and the c in this bracket means I'm taking away c. So it doesn't matter what c is, c will always cancel. So in practice we tend to not even bother writing it because with limits it will cancel. If you don't have limits you absolutely must write in the C. And now I can just put this into my calculator. I'll find out that 3 to the power of 3 is 27. 2 thirds of 27 is 18. So I get 18 plus 21 minus 2 thirds minus 7. And so I get 39 minus 7 is 32 minus 2 thirds is 31 and a third. Let's have a look at this in the question. So here's a use of maths exam question, and I'm asked to integrate the total number of vehicles using a trunk road. They've given me the integral, and you can see I've got my limits, 6 and minus 6. The first part says use the trapezium rule. Now, there's already a video on the trapezium rule, so I'm not going to show you that now. I'm going to move straight on to 3b part i, use integration to find the value of, and we've got the integral. So... I'm just going to copy out the question, and then we can have a go at integrating it, see what happens. So, integrating it with my limits, I'm going to put square brackets in, I'm going to add 1 to my power, divide by my new power. Add 1 to my power, divide by my new power. Add 1 to my power, divide by my new power. And I'm not going to bother writing the C because I have limits. I'm stressing this because when you don't have limits, you absolutely must write in the C. 
If you're not sure, write in the C and let it cancel. But we don't need it because we're using limits. Then I'm going to substitute in the 6 wherever there's a T. So I'm going to say 50 over 3 times 6 cubed minus a fifth times 6 to the power 5 plus 4,000 times 6. And from that, I'm going to take away... Now, when you substitute in the minus number, I would strongly recommend using brackets everywhere. So I'm going to say minus 6 cubed minus a fifth times minus 6 to the power 5 plus 4,000 times minus 6. So I get 26044.8. Take away minus 26044.8. Again, I've got a minus, so I'm putting it into a bracket. My minus and my minus make a plus. So when I add them, I get 52089.6. Then it says, hence given the estimate for the average number of vehicles per hour using these roads in Surrey between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., so we've found the total number of vehicles using the road between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. We want the average per hour. So you can see here there are 12 hours. To find the average number of vehicles, I'm going to do the total divided by the time. So I'm going to do my total number of vehicles. My average is equal to 52089.6 divided by my 12 hours to find out that there is 4,340.8 vehicles per hour. So that's how we do integration with limits.